What's going on guys, I am the Walrus Jedi, and in today's video I've got another Clone Wars review. This time it is the Season 1, Episodes 19, 20, 21, and 22. It's the last four episodes of Season 1. They are Storm Over Ryloth, Innocence of Ryloth, Liberty on Ryloth, and Hostage Crisis. So if you like these Clone Wars reviews and want some more of them, then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell. There will be spoilers for these episodes, so consider that your warning. And now, the cast of the episodes. Ashley Eckstein is Ahsoka Tano. Matt Lanter is Anakin Skywalker. Dee Bradley Baker is the Clone Troopers. Corey Burton is Martuk, Dooku, Cad Bane, and Zero the Hutt. Matthew Wood is the Battle Droids and Watt Tambor. Tom Kane is Admiral Yularen, the narrator, Yoda. James Arnold Taylor is Obi-Wan Kenobi. T.C. Carson is Mace Windu, Robin Atkin Downs is Cham Syndulla, Phil Lamar is Ornfri Ta and Bail Organa, Ian Abercrombie is Chancellor Palpatine, Jamie King is Aura Singh, and Anthony Daniels is C-3PO. 19. Storm Over Ryloth, February 27th, 2009, on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Brian Callan O'Connell and written by George Kerstick. The moral is... It is a rough road that leads to the heights of greatness. Anakin and his Padawan Ahsoka are tasked with breaking the Separatist blockade over the Twi'lek homeworld of Ryloth. The Republic's initial attack is a single squadron of fighters led by Ahsoka. This fails when the Separatists launch several squadrons of vulture droids and bring their reinforcements in, which resulted in most of Ahsoka's squadron killed and the loss of one of the three Venators that the Republic had sent to break the blockade. Once Ahsoka and the survivors are back, the Republic jumps to hyperspace. Anakin scolds his Padawan for disobeying orders and orders her to her quarters. Later, Anakin orders the damaged Venator evacuated. Anakin pilots the damaged Venator right into the Lucre Hulk at the center of the Separatist blockade, taking it out and the leadership of the blockade. Ahsoka leads a squad of Y-Wing bombers and takes out other Separatist ships, clearing the way for Obi-Wan's land forces and Anakin is rescued. 20. Innocence of Ryloth, which aired March 6th, 2009, on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Justin Ridge and written by Henry Gilroy. The moral is, the costs of war can never be truly accounted for. Obi-Wan lands amidst heavy flak, which prevents the bulk of the Republic forces from landing. So Kenobi must eliminate the cannons. They take the outer wall with relative ease. Kenobi then t asks for scouting to be done. Waxer and Boyle go to find out any information. They find Numa, a young Twi'lek girl. She leads them through a tunnel, and they rejoin the others. Numa leads the clones through the tunnels, and they save the captured Twi'leks, being used as shields for the cannons, and they take out said cannons, preventing the main force that were preventing the main force from landing. 21. Liberty on Ryloth, which aired March 13th, 2009, on Cartoon Network, it was directed by Rob Coleman and written by Henry Gilroy. The moral is, compromise is a virtue to be cultivated, not a weakness to be despised. With the main force landed, General Mace Windu is free to march and take the capital city of Lirisu, but he wants to recruit the natives led by Cham Sedula, but Senator Orrin Frita, the Twi'lek senator, is against this as they are political rivals, but they do agree in the end. The Republic forces with the Twi'leks take the capital and capture Wat Tambor as he was too greedy to leave without every last bit of Twi'lek treasure he could get. And so, Ryloth is liberated. 22. Hostage Crisis, which aired March 20th, 2009, on Cartoon Network. It was directed by Giancarlo Volpe and written by Eogen Mahani. The moral is, a secret shared is a trust formed. Duros bounty hunter Cad Bane has been hired to liberate Zero the Hut from prison. To do this, he takes several senators hostage at the Senate building, with the help of several other bounty hunters, including Ora Singh. Ornfri Ta is sent to the prison with a pardon disc, and thus the Purple Hut is set free. Cad Bane and the rest leave with the hut, and Anakin saves the Senators' lives. What I liked. For Storm Over Ryloth, uh, Ahsoka learned a lesson in this, and 
she does improve after the, this is one of those key moments where she learns a lesson and she improves and she's not such a kind of snotty nosed little know-it-all kid. Innocence of Ryloth. Uh, it's cool to see Ryloth, you know, the home planet of the Twi'leks. It's always nice to see cool alien worlds. For Liberty on Ryloth, uh, we get Mace Windu. To sh you know, he gets a min minute to shine in this, so that's nice. And then for Hostage Crisis, uh, Cad Bane. His debut in this uh, show is, is it his best episode? Mm, it might be, but there's a few other good ones. But yeah, this is this is really good debut for a really great character. And now what I didn't like. For Storm over Ryloth, um, why did they only send, why did the Republic basically send one fighter squadron when the there was clearly more enemy forces and I don't know. And on the flip side, the Separatists, I feel like launching all fighters and then bringing in their reinforcements, it's just overkill because clearly you were going to win. So it just seems like overkill to me. Uh, I don't really have anything uh, negative to say about Innocence of Ryloth, but on Liberty of Ryloth, I don't understand what Tambor's uh, reasoning. Like, are you really just that greedy and stupid that must have all treasure before leaving, and then I got captured. So, sucks to suck, I guess. And then there's nothing I have to say against Hosh's Crisis. That's a that's a good one. And uh, yeah, so I rate these episodes for Storm Over Ryloth, seven out of ten. Innocence of Ryloth, an eight out of ten. Liberty on Ryloth is a seven point five out of ten, and Hostage Crisis is a nine point, or is a nine out of ten which makes it the highest rated Clone Wars episode that we've done this far. So, there's that. Yeah. Th that also makes it the best of Season 1. So, pretty cool. Well, let me know what you thought of these four episodes in the comment section down below and what you thought of Season 1 of Clone Wars in general. And right now you can watch a couple of other reviews. The, the two most recent Clone Wars reviews on the top left and the bottom. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you enjoyed, I'm